Good afternoon, Brian with Grand Roofing, and on this episode of Quick Tip Tuesday, we've got a repair that's been done, in my opinion, pretty bad here. Typically, when they're done bad like this, we get a call later because they continue to flop and blow out. There's some other areas in the house that need repaired, so we're going to go show you quick up in this. Jump over here and actually do a quick one-tap repair and show you what I recommend you do so you don't have to come back and get a call back and have a successful repair. Because a lot of guys, they just half-ass it, so I'll show you what they do. So looking at this, you can clearly see that at some point somebody had been in here and cut this tab back and then just shoved this one under. That's one mistake that people do. It's just not good because then you have these little buildups and areas water can channel and leak. They also sometimes don't seal this. This one is sealed, but I'll show you what I'm talking about that here in a minute. So what people do here, I'll just show you real quick. They take their shingle, try to do this without cutting anything. They will cut a tab down and so they don't have to do all the flat bar and they'll just cut their, their tab short. This is hard because I'm doing it one-handed holding the phone. But essentially, they'll cut a tab short like this. And then they'll just wedge it under there just far enough. It looks like they actually face nailed this. Then they don't seal, but yeah, don't do not do that. Just be put a few extra minutes into it, do it right. So we're going to take this flat bar, hammer hatchet. We're going to do a repair right over here quickly, uncut, unedited. And the most important part when it's done to seal it down. A couple of quick tips and tools in this video too. So stay tuned. So right here, we're going to replace this tab. Don't just cut it and wedge one under. That's what people do. They'll cut this, shove it under. All you got to do is just split the seal strip apart right here. Like this one and that one. What you got to do is reach under here and get this nail out. Not hard to do. Same here on this one. Actually, that's probably far enough over. It would be okay. But for the sake of the video, we'll go ahead and do it for you. And that one right there. Okay. So right here is a solid factory shingle, same on that. Here's a simple tip to get these out. With a hook blade, reach under as far as you can. You're not gonna get all the way, and don't cut your work underneath. Cut that, same on this side. As far as you can reach under there, come down, cut that. Careful not to cut uh, the shingle here. This is, uh, applies whether it's three tab or dimensional, doesn't matter. It's just an asphalt shingle. I will say if it's a dimensional shingle and you don't have these little relief three-way tab cuts here, what you can do is get your flat bar wedged under here this is another little trick i've come up with so when you're cutting this you're actually cutting against your flat bar and you're not going to cut the shingle underneath because it's a little hard when you don't have these here it's easier with those so then the second tip with the flat bar instead of trying to tear all this loose to get your knife up under there you've already got it cut as far as you can take your flat bar this little center point right here and get that in between there and shove it up until it hits it and won't go any farther then you just give this side a nice little tap like that Hold the phone. Yeah. Same on this side. Get it up under here. And essentially, that is going to act like a knife. I don't want to drop my phone over the edge here. And you cut your piece out. This is hard with a, a cell phone on my GoPro on. Cut your shingle. Get your new one ready to go in. Make sure this is nailed off. That one's kind of blown through, so we're going to go ahead and nail it. We're going to use a good old trusty AJC Mac hatchet. Get some uh, hand nails thrown out here. And collect them. Get your shingle put in here. Line it up on your two sides, evenly spaced between those. Come on. This is way more difficult trying to hold the cell phone here. Probably gonna make a few of you guys really dizzy before this video is over. That nail is bent. Sorry for moving around so much, but that's because I'm holding my phone in my left hand and holding the shingles up with it. So that one. So the AJC Mag Hatchet, it just holds the nails. It makes this uh, repair so much easier. All right, so double check. Take a second. We got the nails in that one. They don't go near these. They're in the center there, but you do want to double nail it. Same here. Make sure each side is nailed. Same here. A lot of people will leave that right there as done, and that is not done. This will never seal. These will stick this half here into the new seal strip. Just by pressing, you'll see that it's already starting to stick. This will never stick. I see people leave this, and the next thing you know, this will blow off, and this will crease and blow off. Usually that's the first one to go because it's way more dry. 
The last and most important part when you do a repair like this, again, doesn't matter if it's a three tab or an asphalt, uh, dimensional, as long as it's asphalt. Use the sealer of your choice. Does not take much under this bottom. Just a couple dabs. I try to put it near the nails and just on the ends and it just takes very gentle pressure to push down in there. Same on these because this outer edge where there is no seal, it won't ever seal. And this last one here. Give it a nice little push to lay down flat. Give it an hour or two, this stuff will start setting up and be dry. And it will not blow in the wind, nor these. And you'll have a successful repair. Did I know I broke five minutes? Daggone, it's because I didn't have a cameraman. I didn't have the GoPro, so anyway, hopefully the quick tip worked between using your flat bar to cut the shingles up under and also using the flat bar as a guide so you can cut your shingle with a hook blade and not cut your work underneath. A couple little simple quick tips. Don't forget to, the most important part, put a couple dabs of sealer. Don't do a solid line. You can trap water and make it flow where you don't want it to, and that's all there is. The only other thing, and just give it a thumbs up. That's all I ask. Until next time, be safe. We'll see you on the next video.